Hello everyone. Welcome back to another Let's Buy a Chateau. I had a lot of fun in uh, searching for this week's chateau for you. And it comes with extra excitement for me because I feel so close to our move. We're now in February of 2024. Very possibly in a year from now, we'll be packing up our things and getting ready to go. I mean, our, our exit plan is as early as March 2025, but could go into June at the very latest. So um, yeah, this is getting exciting. This is not a chateau I'm going to buy. I'll be honest with you, I have found two that I really love lately. If you want me to share them with you, put it in the comments. Um, it's hard. Talk about a coup de coeur. That's what the French say, uh, like a love at first sight. Uh, there's one in particular, but we're not going to look at that today. We're going to daydream big with this place that you see here. It's amazing. This place has a moat, a real moat. That's water you see around that chateau. That is not grass. Let's take a look at where the location is for this place. It's in the region of Bourges. I hope I'm saying that right. And you see this little red um circle not the heart but the circle kind of just above the word france that's where this is located so it's almost if you went straight south basically out of paris for a couple of hours that's where we are looking today and that is where you will find this chateau that i find absolutely beautiful and uh very beautiful yes indeed so this is rare this is on a moat um, and actually located about 18 and a half miles from the city of Chambord. So if that helps you kind of understand location wise, it's got a nice big city, uh, not too far away. And you can tell by just looking at it, this has some history to it. And it really does. It was actually built at the end of the 15th century. That's old. Isn't that beautiful? You can see this. I like this view because you can really see the layout of all the outbuildings and whatnot. Because there are a few um, that go along with this. Now, this chateau was actually a gift for a gentleman for having saved the life of King Charles VIII during a battle in 1495. This was his gift for saving the king's life. That's not bad. A little better than a fruit basket, wouldn't you say? Uh, and you can see the bridge that goes across the moat. There are towers uh, at each end of the chateau, very circular, large, imposing towers. They're just beautiful. And yes, outside there's an extra manor house. There is, um, there's a gatehouse, of course, and stables. So there's another exterior view. I, I like how they have so many exterior photos because you've really got to like, let this sink in the magnitude of it and all those different roofs are pretty incredible and another view from the ground because why not and another view there's also a chapel and you can see that end of the chapel uh i believe that's it there with the that kind of smaller portion um with the very chapel looking windows um that's on the ground floor of this place so once we go inside you will see uh, the immense size of the fireplaces in here and that very French ceiling, the painted ceiling beams, very classic, um, really beautiful with actually a lot of light. You open up those windows and like in the old days, let uh, mother nature light things up. Just beautiful. Uh, another massive, fireplace, the hearth on there. I bet I could stand underneath it. In all, there are six bedrooms inside of this chateau. Uh, here's a cute little office, just immense fireplaces. I mean, isn't that massive? Um, in all, the interior space of this is 4,520 square feet, approximately when you convert from uh, meters. So, Yes, quite a bit to heat. Those fireplaces might put out a lot of heat, though. You light those suckers up. Um, again, here are some of the outbuildings. There's also that gatehouse we saw out front. There are stables that actually have six stalls in it. And one of our 
our viewers and this this one actually makes note of it how great that is for parking cars inside of a great garage to keep those precious vehicles safe and that is our tour of the inside now what we don't get to see bathrooms there are bathrooms but we don't get to see them and we don't get to see the kitchen all that I find incredibly disappointing I wish we could see even more because yes the outside is impressive and massive and really kind of maybe the most fun part but I do miss being able to see the inside of this place now it is on the market for you know, give or take uh, approximately a couple million US dollars, right? Chump change, no. Really, when you think about it, a slice of history like this is truly remarkable and uh, fun to look at. The biggest comment we usually get is about heating the chateau and maintaining it. And yes, that is a massive task with some of those fireplaces it might stay rather warm. I mean, how did they do it 500 years ago? Fires. They're probably cold. I know they wore a lot of clothes, um, but that's that's a fun one. And in all on this, there are actually 99 acres. So you've got fields, you've got garden plots. You see little gardening around here and there and plenty of forest, lots of peace and quiet. What a special place it definitely is. To get lost and wandering through there would be Maybe a fun game. <laughs> so that is this week's Chateau. Again, not one I'm going to buy, but I had a lot of fun looking through and enjoying and um, letting my mind wander a little bit. But yes, I do have one in mind. It's just not time. It's hard. It almost was time. We almost pulled pulled the trigger due to, due to some other um, events going on, but we're going to wait. We want to do it right. We want to save the appropriate amount of money and uh, tous ensemble. We're all going to do it together, my family and I. So that's coming up and we're getting so close that it's not far off. So that is this week's video. I hope you enjoyed. I would love to hear your feedback. Tell me your thoughts. Um, let me know if you want me to see the chateau that I want. We'll see. It'll probably be sold before I can even get there, so I might as well show it to you if you want to see it. Uh, let me know what you're loving this week. Please give me a thumbs up. I would so much appreciate it to share this with other people and subscribe. And my friends, we will see you next time.